Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install SQL Server 2022 on the Windows operating system. And then I am also going to show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio version 19 on a Windows operating system. And then I am also going to show you how to create a database, how to create table, how to fetch data from that table. So do watch the video till the end. If you face any issues, please do comment in your comment sections. I'm always there to help you. So do watch the video. If you like the video, please give it a like and also do subscribe our channel. That will really help me to make more such videos. So let's start our video. So first you need to download the Microsoft SQL Server. So go to your browser and just search with SQL Server download. And you will get this microsoft.com as a first search result. So here you will be seeing this SQL Server downloads. So you need to click on that. And it's going to redirect to the official site of SQL Server. So this link I am going to put it in the description. So you can directly use that link to come up over here. You need to scroll down. And here you can see we have developer and express edition. So you need to download the express edition. You can see it is rightly downloaded. So it is a free edition of SQL Server, ideal for development and production for uh, for web and small server application, right? So it is rightly downloaded. Just simply click on the installer, and it locks you for administrative privileges. Just simply click on yes, and you can see our SQL Server Express Edition installation wizard directly opened. So let's minimize our browser and here you need to click on basic installation. So this is our license agreement. You can accept this and this is where uh, you know our SQL server is going to be installed. So totally totally fine. Download size you can see 278 MB and minimum free space that that is required is 6.6 GB. So this is fine totally just simply click on install. And you can see it has rightly started uh, installing. So first it will going to download some files and then they, it going to be installed. So you need to have active internet connection right throughout this installation. And it will take a couple of minutes. So after it get finished, I'll come back to this video. Yep. So we'll come back. And now you can clearly see that our SQL Server 2022 is successfully installed. So here is our connection string and this is our log folder where it's going to log all the operations and this is our installation media folder and this is our resources folder. Right. So our SQL server is rightly installed. Now it's time to install our, you know, SSMS that is SQL server management studio. So just, you know, simply click on install SSMS and it will going to redirect to the browser. So here you can see download SQL Server Management Studio. Again, this link I am going to put it in the description. So here, if you scroll down, you can see free download for SQL Server Management Studio 19. So you need to just, you know, simply click on this link. And it, you can see it has actually started downloading. Now, since I have already downloaded it, I'll just simply cancel it. I'll go to my download directory and here you can see the downloaded SQL Server Management Studio. So file size is 621 MB. So to install, you need to just simply double click on the installer. And this is, you know, our installation wizard. So let's minimize our download directory and our browser as well. You we can, you know, minimize our SQL Server as well. Right. So this is our, you know, SSMS. So here just simply simply click on install and it will going to start installing our SSMS. Before that it will ask you for administrative privileges. Just simply click on yes and there you go. It has already started installing. Now by the time it get installed I will just give you a brief overview about what is SSMS. So SSMS will give you a you know graphic user interface. So there you can create your database, you can, you know, write all your SQL queries and you can uh, get the output on the output window. So it basically gives you a, you know, a graphic user interface. So where a developer can write, you know, some queries and they can 
get the result right there itself so they don't need to switch to any command prompt right so i'm going to show you all of that you know give some time to get it installed so we'll come back and you can see now our microsoft sql server management studio is rightly installed so setup is completed you can just simply close it now so now our ssms is also installed you can just simply go to search and just search over here ssms and you'll be able to see this sql server management studio you just simply open that and it will going to start launching our SQL Server Management Studio. And you can see that our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is rightly launched. So here is our login screen. So database engine is the server type which is totally fine. And our server name is default. And we are going to use the Windows authentication. So you know keep this default and just simply click on connect and you can see it is rightly connected with our SQL Express. Now let's you know uh, click on this new query and I'm going to show you how you can easily create a new database and how to create tables and all. So for that just simply type create database you know employee just simply select this and click on execute and there you go command executed successfully so now if we expand the database and if you simply refresh this you can see our employee database is rightly created and then you can just simply create a new table called emp so which has basically two column one is id int and another column is name which is varchar 50 so just you know simply select this and execute and you can see command executed successfully now let's insert you know a couple of values so insert into emp id name so two column id and name and then value i am giving one as an employee id and name as rahul so just you know simply execute this statement and you can see one row affected so now if you just simply you know execute this select start from emp you can see the output id one and name rahul Right, so in this way you can easily install the latest version of SQL Server 2022 on a Windows operating system and for graphic user interface you can use this Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So the version is 19 for that. Right, so if you face any difficulty as I said you, please do comment in your comment sections. I am always there to help you. Do like the video and also please do subscribe that will really help me to make more such videos. So that's all for this video friends. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.